Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV, and this is the aftermath. Well, what can I say about yesterday's game? Three points in the bag. Um, hey, you know, it wasn't a vintage Arsenal performance. But uh, on the other hand, it was a good performance because, you know what, we weren't at our best. Uh, it was just after Champions League uh, week where we had a very tough game away to Marseille. And, um, you know, a lot of times in the past, these sort of games that have followed up, we've slipped up. You know, not necessarily lost them, but drawn them. But it was very encouraging yesterday that whilst we weren't at our absolute best, we still managed to get the three points. We still managed to score three goals. And the thing that was really freaking me out in that game was watching Stoke City trying to pass the ball and um, Arsenal scoring all their goals from set pieces. I mean, it's normally the other way around. But um, I've got to take the hats off to the boys. Well done. Uh, very good performance again uh, by Mesut Ozil, who had uh, a hand in all three goals. Um, assists for two of the goals. Well done to him. And uh, Aaron Ramsey again on the score sheet. Now, we all know the story with Aaron Ramsey, how he got his leg broken by Shawcross um, a few years ago um, against Stoke City. And obviously that had a major effect on him because he was one of the rising stars. If you remember, when we bought him, Manchester United were trying to buy him as well. And they actually thought they bought him and we managed to get him. And he was a rising star broke his leg, was out for ages, and he's come back, has had to feel his way back. At times last season, you know, heavily criticised, but now the guy is back, he's scoring goals, he, he, he's just like the first guy on the Arsenal team sheet right now. And another goal for Aaron Ramsey yesterday, and Bakary Sanya even propped up um, with a good headed goal uh, uh, alongside Per Mertesacker also scoring. So, all in all, a good performance. I thought defensively, we looked uh, very good yesterday, apart from the sloppy goal that we gave away. But all in all, again, Mertesacker and Koscielny, good at the back. Uh, Gibbs played very well. Sanya, solid. Chesney, a couple of little, you know, errors by Chesney. But on the whole, again, good performance by by Chesney and Flamini, right in front of them, um, he played really, really well. Um, Flamini, I thought, um, defensive midfield position, did very, very well yesterday. And bonus, Arteta coming back after his injury. So, all in all, a very good uh, performance by Arsenal and a good three points. I know that people will look on that and say, well, we're supposed to be beating Stoke, but you know what it's like. I mean, you can see what happened to Liverpool on Saturday. Everybody assumed that playing at home, they beat Southampton and they got beat. So it's a, not a given in the Premier League. So well done to Arsenal. Another winning performance. Let's get into the tweets and see what you guys had to say about it. Uh, Obekeni uh, Michael said, uh, great performance. Uh, they became a bit flat-footed in the second half, which was to be expected as that was their third match in a week. Uh, Marcus said, apparently Bale is worth twice as much as Ozil or Ozil, should I say, right? Shows how money ruins football. I think that Madrid have bought the wrong Welshman. <laughs> That's exactly what one of the uh, guys we were speaking to yesterday um, in, in our fan talk said. Um, Ivan Apopoliski said, uh, excellent form so far, Rob, but we need a striker with speed to capitalise on the counters we create now. Um, January should be do or die. Again, a lot of people reflecting that yesterday that, they still think that we need a world-class striker. If we can get a world-class striker, everybody's loving Giroud. They're not saying anything's wrong with Giroud, but they're saying we need another top quality striker in there and we can do big things. Um, Daniel Parker, he says, another great win, certainly a different type of win than usual against Stoke with the set-piece goals and he was pleased that Ramsey scored. Darren said, how much would you say Ramsey is worth right now? <laughs> Not that Arsenal would want to sell him. Oh, you know what? That's just got me worried. That tweet has just got me worried. Ramsey keeps playing like this till the end of the season. Here comes Madrid. Here comes Barcelona, City. They'll all be hovering. <laughs> but one thing, we've got a bit of money now, so we ain't going to have to let him go. And he's on a long-term contract too. Um, Mario Guna said, um, to add to my last tweet, Ramsey silenced the Stoke fans from booing him for nothing. And yes, Ramsey is better than Bale. He's getting high praise at the moment, Aaron Ramsey. 
And uh, finally, Melbourne, Gu Melbourne Guna, uh, presumed obviously from Australia. Um, thanks for tweeting us. He said, we matched them physically for once. Giroud and Gnabry special, especially, and we dished out some of their own too. And he said it was great to see. And that's true. I remember in the past, teams like Stoke in particular used to come and just be really physical against Arsenal and would get wins and draws against Arsenal by being physical. I remember a couple of seasons ago, Kenwin Jones just running through our defence and scoring a header. It just literally just brushed them all away. But now, what I noticed yesterday, physically we matched them all the way. I mean, we was never under threat from corners. We dealt with all the set pieces well. I mean... Real solid and encouraging performance by Arsenal shows that we're able to do play in different ways. It's not just always passing, that we're starting to be able to mix it up. And that's very important in the Premier League because you are going to have those sort of hard graft games where you're going to have to mix it up. And those were the games that we were losing last season. So hopefully um, this is a sign of good things to come. Good victory for Arsenal. Moving on uh, to our next game. That's going to be um, against West Bromwich Albion in the League Cup. Be really interesting to see what sort of team Arsene Wenger puts out in that game. Um, I, I think he'll be resting Giroud. I, I see a run out in that game for Nicholas Bentner. And it'd be really interesting to see how the fans react to Bentner. Um, I mean, we had a fan yesterday who was very upset. He's saying with Flamini coming back. And he didn't want Flamini. You've got to watch that video, by the way. 3-1 to the Arsenal. Well, we won 3-1. Wasn't happy with the performance. Very happy won. I thought Stoke played better football. Sorry? I thought Stoke played better football, to be honest. Second half, lucky, second, lucky third goal. I'd, I'd just like to say, Flamini, last minute, starts encouraging the fans, banging his chest. Five years ago, he left the club where we needed him the most, after one good season. Three years he played for Arsenal. First two, three years, played average. One good season, then he left for more money. Now right, he comes hold back. On, hold on, he's come back, but he's playing his heart out. I know what you're saying, well, but isn't he not playing defense, his heart out? Be, he's a defensive midfielder. A defensive midfielder is the easiest position to play in football. It's so controversial um, that everybody's entitled to their opinion. But how will the fans react to Nicholas Bentner? That is going to be really, really interesting. Um, Thanks very much for watching the Aftermath today. For everybody who's been asking, you saw this uh, T-shirt here. In the videos, um, this is a special uh, Merze Ozil um, debut special edition uh, gold t-shirt. We made this specially because he made his home debut at the Emirates yesterday. Now, if you want to buy one of these, they're available on the website. We've only made 100 of these. 100 of these only. If you want to get one of these, you've got to get on there quick because once the 100 are gone, they're gone. They're like a collector's item. So once that 100 is sold out, that is it. Um, if you want to get them, uh, there'll be a link below. Just follow it to the website and grab yourself one of these if you, you want one of these uh, gold T-shirts. And um, T-shirts, there's other T-shirts and stuff like that available on the website also. And also, um, again, just thank you, everybody who's been giving us uh, so much love and so much support. There's actually a... Comp there's actually... Um, a blogging competition at the moment that we didn't even know about this thing and uh, loads of um, people have been tweeting into us and saying listen we're going to vote for you guys in this uh, again the links below if you want to uh, vote for us we're not begging you it's up to you if you like what we're doing you can vote for us but for all those people who have been voting for us so far we're really grateful we didn't even know about it so thanks for alerting us to that and uh, thanks for voting for us uh, Arsenal Fan TV we will be um, back after the uh, West Brom game so make sure you check that out um, don't forget if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and of course if you're not subscribing yet what are you up to man? Subscribe! <laughs> Thanks for checking out the Aftermath today Arsenal it's all good at the moment it's all good so we are top league 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 we are top of the league, say we are top of the league. We are top of the league, say we are top of the league. And even listen, oi, 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 listen. You'll be careful. You've got to be careful with that, bully. We're going to, have to start getting used to singing that song. But um, <laughs> going back to that, uh, um, Aaron Ramsey, you, you was last year one of the few people who was positive about Ramsey, and he's, he's now he's on fire. Oh, well, like I said, I, he was a young player when he got the, the, 
break in his leg and it was a bad break and I know from having a couple of accidents that I've had it does get to you like I didn't get mine till I was a bit older so uh, I didn't have the psychological problem but I knew as soon as he could go in for a good crunching tackle get up and go that didn't hurt like what was I worried about?